Okay, so let's uh, see what's here. We can go upstairs. Uh, interactables. Cola. Yeah, this shit will kill you. He says as he takes a drag of his cigarette. Uh, what's on the sign? If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. I uh, should probably check out the phone, actually. Yeah. They should probably repair that. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. This was a I secret. Know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Big B. He wants to do right by me, and he he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. Bigby, I have to say, that night when you saw me, I really didn't appreciate you telling Beast when I expressly asked you not to. So, what are you doing here? And I told you I wasn't getting involved. Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes, the... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. She is a troll. Ever see a Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Calm Look, down. If this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me. Even though she knew that I saw her, I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. I bet if you covered for her, she would have told you more. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. You're asking me to lie. Not lie, just not include my name. Just say you talk to the clerk or something. You'll do what you have to. I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, here we are. Which one was it? 
Oh, of course, 207. I need to go, go in there. I hear that. Someone's having some fun. Probably don't need to look. No. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Big B. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great. Oh, God. I know what this place is. I know what goes- this is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- <laughs> Hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You said you saw her that night! I should've fucking known! Listen to your wife! Just calm down and- Beast! Did I do it? I guess not. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Bigby! That was quick. Ouch. Stop! Let's throw him in the other one. Oh. I don't need to hit. I don't need to hit him. Oh wait, shit! Damn it! Ouch! You ruined everything! She's my fucking. Shut up. Is this? Big B. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You you don't want to see this. Oh shit. This is where she died. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this is this? Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... So that's... Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay?
Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. Okay. Time to I investigate. can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Oh, this is where the uh, flower came from. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. Ashtray. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. We shouldn't he even be in wine. here. Classy. <sighs> what is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and the weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Indeed, who could it be? For my arrival. And there's a dress in the closet that's just like Snow White's dress. Oh. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? He could be a cross This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but... Just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. Now we can put the cassette so into this clock thing. He'll just move over to it and hear it. Forest noises. So whoever it was, was really recreating the Snow White story. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music. Last night, it was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Maybe she didn't see it coming. An apple. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. And um, there you go. It's enough evidence. No, there's more? What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow Story. Oh no. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. 
He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a Snow White dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up... Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. What is that? Envelope. What's in the envelope? Oh damn, the music picked up. Stalker! Are those pictures of the dead girl? Not all of her. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Big B. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Is he the killer? No, it can't be. He's obsessed with her. That doesn't make her the killer. That doesn't make him the killer, sorry. 